five minutes of terror. It doesn't matter how much you test the system, how many times you've done it in, in the past. We, this is, you know, we, we've done it a few times. It's still extremely uh, risky and unforgiving. Just a, a little detail that you miss and it can cost you the, the, full, the full landing. But you never had a doubt, right? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I was slept much better last <laughs> night. <laughs> it's, it, it's, really, it's really hard. It's yeah. really hard, and, 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 and there have been a lot of attempts in the past that have failed. So it's the, the, the Mars ground is littered with spacecraft that have tried to land on Mars unsuccessfully. So you, you have to be very, very humble and, and, and treat the problem very, very seriously and work really, really hard, and still that doesn't guarantee the success. The rover landed in a crater that I read used to be a lake. One of the goals is searching for evidence of life at some point back in the day on Mars. What, what will be examined to try to figure that out? Well, yes, exactly. I mean, the, the, it, 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 scientists believe that about 3.5 billion years ago that uh, that crater was filled up with water uh, by a river that actually uh, uh, brought its waters into the into the lake, and with the waters also sediment that accumulated and made a a delta, just like a river delta here on Earth. And so those delta has these these sediments and materials, uh, minerals that actually can keep the the, the evidence uh, uh, over the years. So that's why if if there was life on Mars, that's a good place to go look for it. And that's that's what uh, <laughs> yeah. perseverance is equipped for. And it features the first microphones to record audio of the red planet and a mini Mars helicopter to fly around over the Martian surface. It's incredible. How can these tools really make a difference? Well, I mean, uh, the, 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 the microphone and they have also has cameras. It's going to document the landing, right? Like it's, it's going to be kind of like a, a selfies cameras that are, uh, are going to image from one part of the lander to another part. So we're going to be able to get more of a visceral uh, feeling of being there while the system is landing, and uh, uh, with all these cameras and all this sound being recorded, the engines being fired, the uh, uh, parathetic devices being uh, 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 fired, and the, the vehicle finally touching down. The helicopter is a, it's a different thing. The helicopter is an experiment that uh, to see whether you can actually fly uh, 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 these helicopters on Mars. Mars only has 1% the atmospheric density of Earth. So it's very, very difficult to fly a helicopter. And the idea is that if we prove this concept, then in the future we'll build uh, missions around a, 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 a mission to Mars that will be a full helicopter, much, much bigger, and it will have sci uh, scientific instruments. So that's, uh, that's going to be very exciting. But again, it's, a, it's an investment in the, in the future, in developing technology for, for future missions. Well, all of us, us civilians will be watching with glee. Miguel San Martin, again, big congratulations and, and best of luck ahead. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.